have been negotiating, talking, debating back and forth in our conference, trying to come to a really good rules package, and it's amazing. As a matter of fact, I'll quote Matt Gates. He said it's exquisite. That's what he said on our conference call on Sunday. Um, but in that conference meeting there, we found out that there were several members, three in fact, that went in uh, last night and were demanding positions for themselves, demanding gavel positions, demanding uh, subcommittees, demanding for people to be taking off committees and people to be put on committees. Three, three Republicans out of our 222. I want you all to know I have not done that for myself. The only thing I have done is, is debate and, and, and request and argue amongst my peers for the right things for the rules package and for our agenda for the American people. And that's the only thing I've done. I haven't asked for one thing for, my, for myself, and I'm the only Republican that has zero committees. So you would think I would be the one in there asking for something, but I haven't done that. But I find out that it's my uh, Freedom Caucus colleagues and my supposed friends that went and did that, and they asked nothing for me. Nothing. That's what I found out in there. I'm furious. Well, let me tell you something. While the conservatives that the base supports and believes in, let me, let me remind everyone, they're not perfect either. Scott Perry, before his general election, refused to vote uh, against the bill that was all about the gay marriage bill. He didn't, but he, he refused to vote against it. He voted for it. Then when it came back around after his election, he was able to vote against it. Conservatives would not like that. Let me remind every, everyone this. Matt Gates, who has compared Kevin McCarthy to Paul Ryan, my friend Matt Gates, he supported Paul Ryan almost more than anyone. It's still on his social media. As a matter of fact, his first vote in Congress was for Paul Ryan as speaker. And then he cheered him on for nearly a year and a half or more when people like me were at home furious at Paul Ryan's speakership because it wasn't passing the MAGA agenda that we all supported. Chip Roy, he refused to object on January 6th. That's not what our base wanted. He also set out the vote for the January 6th committee. There's many more. Bob Good, $2 million from Kevin McCarthy to get elected. Lauren Boebert, under $2 million from Kevin McCarthy to get elected. Many more people have taken Kevin McCarthy's money to get elected, and then there's a few of them that don't want to support him as speaker. So imagine that. This is not anything about the country. This is all about never Kevin. They just don't like Kevin McCarthy. And you cannot be successful in anything if you aren't able to walk in a room, make, your, make what you want, and get a deal done, and then walk away with the W and get to work and not worry about who you like and who you don't like. This is not about prom king. This is not about a pastor. This is about electing a person to sit in the speaker chair so that we can all get to work. And out of 222 Republicans, let me remind everyone, there's 218 votes to get something passed. That means all of us are powerful, every single faction in the Republican Party. So there's not going to be a tiny little group that is going to demand their way because they want subcommittee chairs and they want certain power positions. That is not how this works. And that is the worst thing they could do for the country. And I'm furious over it and I'm going to